A Fox 5 I-Team investigation raises questions about the relationship between the state DOT's top road planner and a lobbyist. The two worked together with other elected officials before recently announcing, announcing a road widening project in Henry County. Well, senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell has investigated that business relationship between the two men. Dale? Deidre, it's interesting. County governments across Georgia are fighting to have the state improve existing roads or build new ones in their area. Governor Deal selected former legislator Jay Roberts to be his top man to help make those decisions at the DOT. And one decision he made has kicked off a storm of controversy. Hey, we appreciate that, yeah, yeah. In this online hunting and fishing show, you can find two old friends having fun hanging around the campfire, Jay Roberts and William Woodall. But when they aren't in the woods, former state representative Jay Roberts is Governor Deal's powerful hand-picked director of planning for the state DOT. And William Woodall is a well-known lobbyist. These two longtime friends now find themselves in the middle of what Henry County Commission Chairman Tommy Smith calls a conflict of interest. To me, you would be lobby lobbying government and you'd have an inside person. This doesn't look good to you. It don't look good, no sir. It all begins with State Route 155 in Henry County, a two-lane road running from Interstate 75 past huge industrial buildings. Traffic often crawls down this corridor. We're actually hiring a lobbyist who will go to the Capitol and will fight for Henry County. On August 2nd, Henry County commissioners voted to pay lobbyist William Woodall's company, On Point Strategies, $2,000 a month to get DOT money to build or widen roadways like State Route 155. Well, all in all, you figured that this group was your lobbyist. All in all, yes. It looks like Mr. Woodall went right to work. Look at this press release. Eight days after the vote to hire him, Mr. Woodall met with State Senator Rick Jeffries, the DOT's Jay Roberts, and other Henry County officials to discuss road projects. Roberts announced that day the DOT would spend $72 million to widen State Route 155, putting Henry County's road improvement ahead of hundreds of other state roads. This is your decision. It, it is, it is, yes. We got a $17 million project with uh, Jay Roberts and William Woodall. And just six days later, the Henry County Commission voted to appropriate money to pay Woodall's company and gave him credit for bringing home the DOT bacon. He got Jay Roberts down here in, in a week's time. And he's the man, Jay Roberts is the man. When we caught up with Jay Roberts at DOT headquarters, he also gave credit to William Woodall. Roberts told me Mr. Woodall did good work for Henry County. I, I complimented him on the fact that, that he was one that advocated on behalf of the city and the county when we were there that day. The Fox 5 I team has learned that Jay Roberts and William Woodall are more than friends. According to Mr. Roberts, they're business partners in Dirt Road TV. Is it a conflict of interest? I, I, some people may see it that way, I don't. If it takes on even the appearance of impropriety, it's wrong. But Henry County Commission Chairman Tommy Smith sees a problem. He voted against hiring Mr. Woodall as a lobbyist, but he didn't know about the Roberts Woodall business relationship. This thing is so convoluted, it's like a spider web. Jay Roberts says Henry County has wanted Georgia Highway 155 widened for years, and this decision was only one of many road projects across the state he has advanced. And you didn't make the decision, but this road, fast forward this Absolutely road. Absolutely did not make this decision. Because of your decision. relationship. I did not make this decision based off of my relationship with him. But this is where we take a turn in the road. We also found the lobbying company Henry County Commissioners voted to hire on point strategies has ties to Jay Roberts. The I-Team examined company records on file with the state for on-point strategies. The original organizer and registered agent for the company is not William Woodall, but Jay Roberts' wife. And the contact email listed is Jay Roberts' personal email. My wife was on there originally as it was set up. If she's still on there, I actually need to pull her off. Roberts says originally on-point strategies was formed to do that hunting and fishing show but he and his wife are now out of the company. It belongs to Mr. Woodall. But the original company records indicate it was formed for management, sales, and consulting. Not one word about hunting or fishing.
I guess we have not modified it to that point, but I can assure you that I have never received anything, nor my wife has ever received anything from that. This right here tarnishes uh, the, the whole credibility to me and Mr. Roberts. Whether it's legal or not, it, it, it's, it's a conflict of interest. After talking with Jay Roberts in the morning, within one hour we got messages from the governor's staff and the DOT saying, wait, William Woodall didn't sign the lobbyist contract Henry County gave him almost two months ago. And they'd tell me if he didn't sign it, then he's not Henry County's lobbyist. That was news to Henry County Manager Lyndon Bonner when we told him. Nobody as of this day has told you that something is different than what was voted on. Absolutely not. If he's telling people he's not a lobbyist, then it, it, it must be something more to it because we got so many people that the public thinks he's our lobbyist. And we wanted to know why Mr. Woodall didn't sign the contract, but he didn't return our phone calls. And on the day we interviewed Jay Roberts, the Secretary of State's office filed a notice to dissolve the company belonging to Mr. Woodall on Point Strategies. Deidre? A lot there. We know you'll keep digging. We will. All right. Thank you, Dale.